Good morning, welcome to your Tuesday Tech Tip. Today we're going to talk about how we can use Zoom video. So you can navigate to zoom.us and enter the email to sign your email to sign up. Sign up for free. It will ask you to confirm your email, head to your email, activate your account. It will prompt you to invite your colleagues and have a test meeting. You can skip this step if you like, and I suggest when you get to this part, you can say go to my account. Once you have created a Zoom account, you're going to want to have a meeting. If you were using this with your students, you would want to schedule a meeting. The first thing you can do is go to schedule a meeting. You could give it a topic. You could add a description if you'd like. You set in the date, the duration, just make Make sure you note that with the free version of Zoom, the maximum you can have is a 40-minute meeting. Choose the meeting time you'd like. Make sure your time zone is correct. Um, you can get the meeting ID generated automatically. No need for a password. Turn the video for yourself and the participant on, if that's in fact what you want. I strongly suggest for audio, you just choose computer audio. It will make the invitation much more clear. If you'd like, you can have the participants be muted when they arrive. And if you like, you can autom also automatically record the meeting. However, I will show you how you can do that in the application as well. And then you save the meeting. Once you have saved the meeting, uh, you have a ch an opportunity to add it to your Google Calendar. This is the meeting ID. There is no password required. This URL is how you will have your students join the meeting. So the next thing you're going to want to do is invite your students. So you can click here on copy the invitation. This is what will appear in the invitation. It will say your school, your ID, your name, the topic. It'll say when and the time. And it will simply give this URL and this meeting ID. You can copy meeting invitation. Once you've copied the invitation, you can paste it into Google Classroom and post it. Students will see a post that looks like this with the live link to the Zoom meeting. They can click on that, enter this ID, answer the prompt to download the application, which happens very quickly, and then they can join your meeting. Once the time arrives, you would simply click on this blue button, start this meeting. If you don't have Zoom already loaded, downloaded, it will prompt you to do so. In this case, it's just asking me to open the application and I will open it. It will prompt you to test speaker and microphone. You can do that. As your students arrive, you can click down here on manage participants and you will see everyone who is in your meeting over here. If for some reason you want to add someone to the invitation, you could do that quickly and you could send them an automatic email right here. The video right now, the video is recording. All right, let's discuss the, the chat option. If you click on chat, you can have an ongoing chat. Participants can be having an ongoing chat. I strongly suggest that you go to the three dots here, have a click, and it says allow participants to chat with no one. Okay, so, or host only. So they can only chat with you they cannot chat with their friends. So that's how I would suggest you manage the chat. You also can share your screen. So if you like, you can show students what's on your screen. I'm just going to select that tab and it will show my screen. I could discuss my tab if I wanted to and then when I'm done I say stop share. That doesn't stop the meeting. I also, there is the whiteboard option here. So if you wanted to the whiteboard. Again, you can full screen that if you like. When you're done, you can stop that. At any time that you want to end the meeting, you would click here to end the meeting. As well, there are if you would like to um, start a meeting in a different way, you can just start a meeting spontaneously. Click here to host a meeting, and you can choose the kind with video on. Open up a meeting. It's the same process. However, you haven't invited anybody, so anytime you can click on invite, you can click on email. It'll automatically create a meeting message for you, and you can send that out to your participants. So ladies and gentlemen, that is Zoom. Just a note that students should be able to join this with no preparation other than 
that meeting invitation that you send them and they will have to allow the application to download however that should happen um, that they should be able to do this uh, without any administrative passwords thanks for watching